Hello everyone. This is your Princess of Suburbia. My name is Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock. I am an African princess uh, living in diaspora. Of course, many of you know me as your psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. I'm also your compassionate trauma care on your personality. And what do I do here? I help hardened women rewrite their trauma life stories and rediscover the legacies through rehabilitative storytelling. So welcome aboard this ship. I know that I have not been here in a minute. It's because I, my goodness, have been traveling a lot. Uh, many of you or some of you know that I just released uh, a powerful number one best-selling author along with 18 other women called Fearless Visionaries, Ted Vell. And I tell you what, they have been tearing their veil, just like this show is. It says, tear the veil with Dr. Fumi. You have my wonderful sisters who are come from different backgrounds, different parts of the world, telling their stories. And as they tell their stories, they're getting healed. Not only getting healed, they are transforming this personal transformation within them and others that they share the story with, which we ultimately hope that we bring social reformation. So what do I want to talk about today? As we move towards the holiday season, uh, as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I see a lot of women and even men alike right coming into my clinic there's a surge a high surge of anxiety there's a high surge of depression uh you have people committing suicide i mean i heard a story uh just uh last night about a whole family wiped out the mother dies a year ago the the two twins one of the two twins who play football, who are well-known and NFL, committed suicide, and then the other one committed suicide lately. I mean, it's just heartbreaking. But here's the thing. We have to understand that if you are already prone to mental illness, if you have anxiety, if you have, um, what do you call it, depression, uh, whatever it is that you have, bipolar, it doesn't really matter. You have to take extra caution during the holidays because for some reason, during the holidays, people get more depressed, particularly those who are alone. They're living by themselves. They get more depressed. People get more anxious because they're anxious about the next year, what it brings to them. Here is the thing. You've got to take care of yourself. Whoever you are, and if you're listening to me right now, it is important self-care management is important. So how do you go about doing this? Number one, let's, let's talk a little bit about this. Number one, if you know that you are in crisis, I want you to hear me. If you know that you are in crisis or you're getting there, do not wait till you get to a point where you are attempting suicide like I did several years ago, over 25 years ago, in fact, over 30 years ago. Don't wait for that. Seek help by reaching out to uh, a community of, of therapists, a community of psychiatrists, most importantly, a community of um, psychiatric nurse practitioners in your area. Thank God that we have that Mr. Google, where you can Google and find someone in your area that you can reach out to right away. If there is a solution where, if there's a situation where there's nobody, then by all means, go to an ear. You need help. And when you need help, you seek help. Um, many are alone during the season. Here is another tip. Find someone, someplace, something, an activity to engage in. I have a situation where we, I have a client that stays by her window and just look out and do absolutely nothing. When you are depressed, right, those are the signs. What are the signs? You don't feel like doing nothing. Some of the things that used to give you pleasure no longer give you pleasure. You isolate yourself from the community at large, right? You are easily irritated by things that you see, hear, or want to do. You don't want to deal with anybody. You are essentially in the dumps. 
that is depression. And when you have anxiety on top of it, because frankly, I call them twin sisters and twin brothers, right? Where your heart is going at a heart rate, you know, a faster heart rate. You just know that you're panicking, but you can't, there's no origin for that panic. There's no origin for that anxiety. You're just anxious. You're getting ready to do something that you used to do before, but you no longer derive pleasure in, and you're getting, ex- getting well, I say excited, but you know what I mean by that, right? You're getting, you're, 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 you're getting to a point where, my goodness, you, you don't want to do that thing. I have someone who um, used to belong to uh, an organization. She loved her job. She loved everything about it. But then once the organization bought, got bought by another organization, there was a lot of changes. And that changes caused her to start having anxiety and panic attacks. If you find yourself in a place where you're doing that again, seek help, right? There, and thank goodness there's a lot of great, great, right? Great, great psychiatric nurse practitioners around. Now, I'm, I'm kind of partial to that because that's who I am. And I know that we take our time in, in taking care of our patients. So I'm very partial to nurse practitioners. My role is to, in, in, to even inspire people to be more people to be more psych, psych, psychiatric nurse practitioner. But if you choose that route, Please understand that if you choose that route, it's because you love to care for people in that, not because of the money or because I often hear a lot of that where you have people who are doing something else and all of a sudden they want to become psychiatric nurse practitioner. This, we're talking about people's lives here. Do not play around with people's lives because you think that there's money there. So again, if you are suffering from depression today, if you are suffering from anxiety, bipolar, outbreak, manic outbreak, whatever it is, I want you to seek help. Until next time, be inspired, be motivated, be of sentimental value. Understand that you are the hero in your life story. Wake up, wake up, wake up, because you are worthy of greatness. And your greatness is going to shine when you push through that dark part of you. And if you need medication, oh heck, get the medication and just get it together. Bye for now. Bye for now.